A company in our area is developing some technology to remove forever chemicals from our water. I'm sure you've heard of the term PFAS before, and right now we do have ways to filter some of that out of our water. A Durham company, though, is creating a way to eliminate it almost entirely. WRL's Liz McLaughlin found out how it works and what's next for the technology. Wastewater facilities like this one in Raleigh create tons of biosolids in the treatment process that can contain microplastics, pharmaceuticals, and harmful forever chemicals. We want to have the ability not just to filter and separate them, which we think is just sequestering the problem. We want to be the ones that are pushing technologies that can break it down and take it out of our ecosystem. Kobe Nagar is the CEO of 374 Water, a company that developed a supercritical oxidation unit using a process first discovered at Duke University a decade ago. And what we are able to, to do is to really take that core technology and adapt that to the big sanitation environmental market. The unit can treat six tons of organic waste each day and works by using pressure and heat of more than 700 degrees Fahrenheit to break down sludge. And on the other side, we get clean water, energy, and then minerals that you can use as a fertilizer. Sanitation officials in Orange County, California, purchased the company's first commercial unit, which they say will cut down on the environmental footprint of the current process, which creates methane, a greenhouse gas 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide. And basically showing the world that this technology can address uh, residual from wastewater treatment, uh, sludges, biosolids, uh, and also food waste. The company hopes to soon scale up capacity to units that can process up to 200 tons per day. Liz McLaughlin, WREL News. Now, California officials say they plan to install the unit this summer. 374 Water says it's currently in, contact, in contract discussions with other sanitation departments, including here in North Carolina.